Hi, so welcome back um, to our Words of Wisdom series with Tom Dorans, um, very possibly the greatest horseman who ever lived. And we're just going to read a few little um, quotes from him from the book and have a little chat about them. And I've just, I mean, it's so much wisdom, actually, every single word is gold. But um, I think it would be appropriate for me to sit here and read the whole book. So I've just chosen a few things that really connect to me and that I hope gives a bit of the essence of what this work um, of true unity is all about. So we're going to start with this one today. I like to see the horse be with the rider and know what he's asking him to do, but still take in his surroundings too. If you feel the horse starting to anticipate, change directions before he gets overexposed. So I love this idea about still letting the horse take in his surroundings. You know that he can be paying attention to you, but he doesn't have to be switched off. And, you know, I think this is a bit the difference between education and training as well, that when the horse is educated, you know, he can listen and process the instructions from the rider while still taking in what's going on around him, which doesn't affect him because, of course, the, he's more listening to where the rider is directing him. Yeah, and... Um, I think the thing that's also very much Tom Dorn's thing about getting there before it happens. So to notice if the horse is starting to anticipate that you need to change what you're doing, you know, if you're making it too um, too much programmed, you know, always maybe asking the same thing in the same place, which can be useful in the beginning to get the horse um, new concepts across. But in general, it's to notice these things before they happen and change around what you're doing. So thank you for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.